All right. So this, <laughs> I love that graphic. So this case has to do with a mother who was uh, put in jail after she shaved her 12-year-old daughter's head, put her in a diaper and a tank top, and forced her to pick up garbage uh, outside their home. Now, the reason why uh, the mother did this is because her daughter did not receive the grades that were uh, good enough for her. Uh, so she decided, I'm going to punish my daughter by humiliating her in the worst way possible. Now, keep in mind, this is a 12-year-old girl. She had her head shaved, which I would be mortified if my head got shaved at any point in my life, right? And to be put in a diaper and have to pick up trash outside the house is humiliating. The neighborhood kids were walking around, uh, pointing and laughing at her, basically. I mean, the neighbors saw it, and one of the neighbors, and she was begging her mom to let her to come to let her come back inside the house, um, and one of the neighbors decided to call the police. Well, yeah, and there was a crowd of neighbors around the mm -hmm. house watching this. I mean, this is basically the depth of humiliation. I mean, you can't hide the fact that you've shaved your head. I mean, it's, it, they said, oh, there's no physical bruises on these children, so they haven't really been able to take them out of the home in the past. This, honestly, I think that I would rather maybe get slapped around by my parents than have them do this kind of below the radar really detrimental psychological abuse. This, I mean, is, this kid is not going to be in a good place. She really needs to she really needs to find help getting into a loving home so that she can grow up with a fighting chance. So she and her siblings were placed in foster care and as I mentioned the mother was arrested and she was booked on suspicion of gross misdemeanor malicious punishment of a child. So, uh, you know, you were talking about the psychological abuse and I think in a lot of cases the psychological abuse is much worse than the physical abuse. So what is physical abuse? Like let's say a mother or a father uh, slaps you mm -hmm. or punches you on your arm or something. I mean, it's still not good, but it's definitely yeah. not as bad as shaving a 12-year-old's head and forcing her to go outside in a diaper. I mean, it's all shades of gray. Obviously, you know, parents who abuse their children physically, I think that the issue is it's, it's horrible and it also causes downstream psychological abuse, but it's much easier to prosecute because there's evidence right. of that. You know, this kind of thing, it's very difficult to go inside of the mental state of a child and see what kind of detriment a parent has caused that's gonna carry with them throughout their lives. How know? could you expect the child of this woman to make good grades when this is the kind of environment that she's growing up in? Right, she well, I, I think that we can all agree that, well, at least Kara and I agree that this is not the way that you should treat your children. And the fact that uh, authorities are looking into it, I think is great. Does anybody else think that, you know, there's any type of defense of this mother? Look, we all agree it's, it's wrong. Uh, I guess the, the proper question is, does a state have the right and the responsibility to get involved? That's yes. the real question. Yes. yes. And you guys are both voting yes. Yes, of I course. am, because I think that at some point this turns into psychological abuse. Yeah. And when you're shaving a 12-year-old girl's, I mean, think about it. She is an adolescent. Uh, for a girl of any age, your hair is everything. Like, to have your hair shaved off is just beyond humiliating. And we're harping and, on this. She's walking around in a diaper. And by the way, when she uh, was arrested, apparently she was in the back of the cop car with her boyfriend, and they were laughing and making light of the situation the entire time. So she had no remorse.